Howdy everybody, welcome back. I've got something really fun for you today. This is the fourth fly in our 2022 holiday Name the Fly contest. So far we've done patterns for New Year's Day, a big green and gold looking thing. We had a Valentine's Day pattern, and most recently, St. Patrick's Day. So today's pattern is our Mother's Day pattern. Now, how did I come up with this one? Well, really just playing around. I did flip through Mike Vala's Classic Streamer Fly Box for some inspiration, and then I looked up what do Mother's Day flowers look like online, and uh, you know tried to come up with a color scheme that's gonna work. And I almost went with a flashy one. I played around with some fuzzy chenille bodies, tried it with and without a collar or a throat, but ultimately I just decided on keeping it pretty simple and what I think is kind of an elegant pattern. And I went with a body style that it's not really used all that often, but it's a pretty neat tactic to have in your bag of tricks. It's using a bug tail kind of twisted up and wrapped as a body, but then bound in with a wire rib. Now one note, I do use jungle cock eyes on this one, and if you don't have any, feel free to skip that or make the head a little bit bigger and paint some eyes on it if you want. But if you are in the market for a jungle cock cape, Terrio flies up in Maine, they do have some right now. And thank you, Bob, for doing this research. He found out their grade one capes, as of right now, May 2022, are $135. Now, I haven't bought anything from Terrio Flies yet, but they do have a really good reputation. And if Alvin and Connie Terrio say these are grade one capes, you can be pretty sure they are. And I know that's still pretty expensive for a cape, but they do sell 10 packs and small, medium, and large for about $650 if you're looking for just to maybe try it out or maybe you're making a some presentation flies for a shadow box. So I'll put a link to their site and all the contact information in the description of this video. Now on to today's pattern. If you're not familiar with how we do these contests, all you have to do is just watch the video and leave a comment with what you think we should name this fly. I'll collect names for a few days and then I'll get with my kids. We'll pick the top five or so and we'll put it out there for a vote. And the winning entry, I'll send you a $25 gift card to Jay Stockard. But for this one, I'm gonna sweeten it up just a little bit more. I'm gonna add a Savage Flies hat. Either the blue and gray here or a khaki here, your choice. If you're interested in these hats, you can get them at savageflies.com along with shirts and mugs and stickers if you like that kind of stuff. So that's how you play. And I really look forward to seeing all the fun names you guys come up with. But let's get into today's pattern, a 2022 Mother's Day Name the Fly streamer. So there it is in the vise, the as yet to be named Mother's Day 2022 streamer. Kind of digging this color scheme. Now I'm tying this on a, oh, a generic streamer hook. This is a size eight, it's three X long, one X strong. Let's go ahead and pinch this barb right here. And I'm gonna put down a base of black thread. And I'm gonna use 70 denier. You could probably use something a little thicker, but go ahead and take a base down to where the barb used to be. And for the tail, I'm gonna use some Lady Amherst pheasant tippets, just these guys right here. I will grab the tips and take my scissors. Oh, just grab about 10 or 12 of them right there. It doesn't have to be a really big tail. I think that's gonna be just fine. Let's go ahead and catch this in. Couple wraps and then check our position. Okay, that's gonna work right there. Maybe just a couple wraps back. Okay, that'll be fine. Now go ahead and take your thread all the way up front. Now let's catch in a gold wire for the rib. And I'm gonna use, well this is actually a hot yellow, but gold is fine. And this is a size brassy. I tied one a little while ago in a size medium and I didn't need to go that thick. It looked fine, but it was just a little bit overkill. So go ahead and catch this in, try to keep it parallel to the hook shank all the way back. Now park your thread about halfway and grab a medium to small size chunk of green bucktail. Now of course you could use any color you want, whatever color scheme you're going with, but you want to catch this in with the tips going forward. So just catch it in right about there. Okay, that's going to be fine. And I'm going to go ahead and bury these all the way up so I don't have any you know, major lumps back here. Okay, that's gonna be fine. I didn't get all those too short, but we'll be okay. But what you'll wanna do here, grab all this bucktail, kinda hold it up to the top of the hook as you catch it in along it. That way it'll just keep it, you know, on the top of the hook and won't really be spinning around. 
and cause you to have an uneven body. Okay, now take your thread almost all the way up, maybe not all the way. And how we're gonna do this, you might wanna spin it just a little bit. I mean, you could spin it really tight if you wanted to have a, a corded looking body, but I don't think that's necessary. And if you uh, let it lay flat, each wrap will be putting more material on the hook and it will take fewer wraps to get you up front. So I'm kind of spinning it, but I'm kind of letting it lay flat just so I can lay more material down as I go up. Okay, and you'll want to take this almost all the way up, maybe just an eye length or two back. Let's get a couple of medium wraps right there. Don't pull too tight on this. If you break your thread right here, every one of those bucktail fibers are gonna unravel on you. And I can tell you that from experience. It happened to me about 15 minutes ago. Okay, so a couple more wraps just to smooth this area out a little bit right there. But leave your thread where you envision the, the back of your head being. Maybe, you know, one more turn back will be fine right there. Now I'm gonna go ahead and counter wrap this rib and up to you how close together you want these to be. But, you know, on this size eight, probably gonna take seven or eight wraps. Now, when you get it up front, you know, this is a brassy, so it's kind of thick wire. It'll take an extra couple of wraps to really secure it before you spin it off. And double check, make sure you don't have a sharp nub right there. If you do, just a couple of loose wraps right there to bury it. Okay, now the next thing we're gonna do, grab some calf tail. So why did I pick calf tail? Because that's the, the color I wanted. And I didn't have this bright blue, it's almost a kingfisher blue, and a bucktail. If I had it in bucktail, yeah, I'd probably be using that. But I forgot to put a little wax on my thread because I'm gonna do this trick where you put a, a wrap just around the hair before we put it around the hook. So go ahead and measure your, your length. I'd say, you know, a body length is gonna be fine right there. And with a thread toward the back of my head, I'm gonna put one wrap just around this hair and then second wrap, none of these are tight yet, around the hair and the hook. Now that's medium. Let's do another one and take a look at it. Okay, and the purpose of that wrap just around the hair is to keep it on top of the hook and you don't really want it spinning around on you. And so that worked right there. That hair is just on the top of the hook. So I can put a couple of tighter wraps going forward before I snip it off. Okay, I've got a few long fibers right there. I could probably spend a few more seconds trying to trim, but I'm just gonna to try to bury them in my head. So I'll take a few wraps right here just to kind of smooth this area out a little bit, but keep my thread at the back of that head. Let's catch in a couple of jungle cock eyes. And this is a size eight, so I'm gonna go with a pretty small one right here, but I'm gonna tie it in pretty long. So maybe it'll be the, the first third of the fly right there. So a couple wraps, check my position. I think that's gonna be fine right there. Do the same thing on this side. Okay, are they about the same length? Close enough. Let's do a couple extra wraps to just make sure they're locked in. Now we can snip off this these tips here. Now just spend some time, some thread wraps, getting the clean looking head. Okay, I think that's gonna be fine. Now, if you don't have jungle cock eyes, I might have just tied in that calf tail a little bit farther back and made a little bit bigger of a head and then painted some yellow and black eyes on it. I think that would be a pretty cool looking pattern. But I did have the jungle cock eyes, so I went ahead and used them. Okay, let's snip this thread off here, see if we have any cleanup. And I've got a couple of stray fibers coming off that jungle cock right there, but I'm not gonna worry about it. I'm just gonna put some head cement on this thing and call it done. So there you go, the 2022 Mother's Day streamer. I appreciate you watching, folks. Y'all take care and we'll see you next time.